Hey guys welcome to A4 Anime. Hit the subscribe button for more quick updates, Satoru Gojo serves as a mentor figure to Yuji Itadori in Jujutsu Kaisen, but there's still a lot about him that fans aren't aware of. Every year there are a number of shonen anime series that debut and become the big, new hits, but Jujutsu Kaisen's intense popularity implies that it's going to be a leading series for many years to come. Jujutsu Kaisen is immediately engaging with its darker mix of action and horror as skilled Jujutsu sorcerers fight against cursed spirits. The anime features strong action sequences, tight pacing, and engaging characters, all of which have helped Jujutsu Kaisen become one of 2021's most notable anime series. Jujutsu Kaisen's protagonist, Yuji Itadori, is a compelling hero, but some of the powerful individuals that surround Yuji, like Satoru Gojo, are even more fascinating. Number 1. His eyes are bandaged because of his power, not because he's blind. The many characters in Jujutsu Kaisen have a wide range of looks, and some seemingly normal humans have cursed spirit characteristics that can be cleverly masked. Satoru Gojo is primarily seen with bandages or a handkerchief that's tied around his eyes. Satoru isn't hiding some cursed spirit abnormality or an injury, but it's actually a way to amplify his power. Satoru is so in tune with his cursed energy abilities that the removal of sight allows him to immerse deeper in the necessary sorcerer mindset. Satoru's eyes are actually quite striking when he's willing to show them. Number 2. He's special grade status at the Tokyo Metropolitan Curse Technical College. Jujutsu Kaisen is an anime that leans heavily into the action and horror genres, but it also finds a way to have a bit of slice of life drama and high school antics with the presence of the Tokyo Metropolitan Curse Technical College. Jujutsu Kaisen doesn't limit itself to its school setting, but Satoru Gojo is a valued teacher at the institute and achieved special grade status due to his excellence in Jujutsu sorcery over the years. Satoru Gojo is 28 years old, which positions him as a mentor figure to Yuji Itadori and other cursed technical college students. Number 3. He's immensely skilled at cursed energy manipulation. Jujutsu Kaisen does a good job at how it establishes many powerful characters of various levels of severity, but Satoru Gojo is the strongest Jujutsu sorcerer in the anime. There are a number of sorcerers that have comparable skills to Satoru, but he goes beyond expectations in every area. Most sorcerers can only use a domain expansion once a day, but Satoru can perform this multiple times. He also effortlessly combines positive and negative cursed energy, can control reverse curse techniques, and is the only known individual in over a century to have both the limitless and six-eye techniques. Number 4. He's inherited the limitless technique. Cursed energy manipulation is shown to be a very temperamental process in Jujutsu Kaisen, but Satoru Gojo's limitless technique allows for control and manipulation over space itself. It's become a vital trademark to the Gojo family and highlights their larger significance to the world of sorcery. Satoru uses limitless in different capacities, whether it's the repulsion of energy forces and centers of gravity to cause massive destruction, the creation of a vacuum out of negative space, or a clever use of space and energy paradoxes to make it seem like he's slowed down time. Number 5. Everything he does is for the sake of the next generation. Jujutsu Kaisen is full of powerful individuals, both in terms of the deadly cursed spirits and the sorcerers that go up against him. Satoru Gojo is a pivotal player in Yuji's greater journey, but he's also twice the teenager's age. Satoru Gojo has seen a lot and accumulated what's treated to be a seemingly limitless amount of power, that being said, Gojo willfully removes himself from conflict and intentionally doesn't get involved so that the next generation of protectors can properly cultivate their abilities. Gojo is more concerned about them than he is about himself. Number 6. He possesses Jujutsu Barrier Techniques. Cursed energy can be used in many different ways, and Jujutsu Kaisen has far from revealed the full extent of that variety. Satoru Gojo proves himself to be proficient in several different barrier techniques. The most practical of these techniques is the curtain, where Satoru creates a barrier of energy that can either trap people in or out of an area. An even more deadly maneuver is Satoru's unlimited void, which only lasts for 0.2 seconds, but it's a metaphysical bombardment of the senses that seriously impairs the victim. Number 7. Maikazane Sugawara is his ancient ancestor. Something that Jujutsu Kaisen emphasizes very effectively is that it's telling a generational story and that sins from the past are still coming back to haunt the next generation of Jujutsu sorcerers. 
lineage is important in this series, which is made clear through Satoru Gojo and the admirable family of sorcerers that are a part of the Gojo bloodline. There's even more significance to Satoru's past, and one of his distant ancestors is Mikazane Sugawara, an acclaimed Jujutsu sorcerer who would eventually become one of the big three vengeful spirits. Satoru finds himself oddly connected to this threat. Number 8. The mysterious Six Eyes ability is specific to the Gojo family. Satoru Gojo is already a very skilled sorcerer at the start of Jujutsu Kaisen, but he still possesses certain abilities that evade him and remain a mystery to some degree. Satoru has a powerful cursed energy technique known as Six Eyes, which appears to be an innate ability that's inherited through the Gojo bloodline. It currently seems that Six Eye operates as a limitless style technique where it allows Satoru to fight without a reduction in his cursed energy consumption, which means he'll never run out of energy and be defenseless in a fight. Number 9. He's formed an unintentional sweet tooth. A popular convention in anime is that intimidating characters can sometimes possess gentle habits that create an entertaining dichotomy. Satoru Gojo is such an example and he's someone that's a master of cursed energy manipulation, but he's often snacking on sweet treats like a child who cherishes their dessert. Curiously, Satoru Gojo only started eating sweets as a way to stimulate his brain. This worked for him, but his procedure was so thorough that now Satoru just has a sweet tooth that's somewhat defined him. Number 10. He's a fan of Digimon. Jujutsu Kaisen deals with some very exaggerated forms of combat, energy, and demons, all of which would make it easy to presume that the anime is set in some alternate reality. Jujutsu Kaisen is such fun because of how it balances these heightened moments with the otherwise grounded nature of this universe. One innocuous detail is that Satoru was a big fan of Digimon in high school, which means that the series does exist in the real world in some capacity. This is also a fun inside joke since both Satoru's Japanese and English voice actors have played Digimon characters.